Hey Glam Dolls, welcome to my 4-in-1 Get Ready With Me featuring my hair, my makeup, my outfit, and my destination. So I'm starting off by priming the entire mobile area of my eyes. I'm using my fingertips to blend this up all the way towards my brow bone. And then I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte, that's M-A-T-T-E, uh, face primer. Now, this got a love-hate thing with me. I mean, it do what it claimed it's supposed to do, but it's, I know for tonight's adventure, it's not going to do enough. So, I'm going to bring in some reinforcements by using my trusty old Milk of Magnesia. Now, I know this do have some controversy to it, but let me tell you all, I have extremely oily skin. So I'm taking just a tiny bit of it and with my face blending brush, I'm going to blend this all over the entire areas of my face. Now with using this, it helps my oily skin to be subdued and it doesn't give me any flashbacks because I only use just a tiny bit of it. So I'm now going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color called Medium Deep and I'm going to set that primer and use this also as a transitional color and my MAC Cosmetics Saddle Brown. Y'all know I am a diehard user of this. It separates my brow bone from my crease color and this also helps to warm my eye up for my eyeshadow palette which is by NYC Cosmetics and let me tell y'all it's fantastic. You're getting four shadows, a primer, and an illuminator. Like where else is you going to get that? And also it teaches you how to use it. It has a pictorial on the back of it as well as inside of it. And so if you're inexperienced to wear makeup, hello, look at that. It's going to guide you. But if you know how to use makeup, it's still a great palette to have. It's extremely pigmented and it's well worth you looking into. Speaking of pigmentation, check this out right here. Look at that. Look at how pigmented this eyeshadow is. I'm starting off by using the color that's labeled crease. I'm then going to go ahead and pick up the primer and this is how I cut my crease. Now this is just a way. There's a lot of videos showing you dolls how to do it and talking about how to do it but this is just a way in which I've learned to cut my crease by using my concealer precision uh, brush. Gently pick up some concealer and outline the entire socket of my eye. That sounds a little bit weird. So I'm taking my time and doing that and once I get a line going, I'm then going to go ahead and start filling the line in by using my fingertips to um, blend the rest of the concealer like this. Pat it, you know, all over just the mobile area of my eye underneath the line that I made for cutting my crease. And like I said, this was just a way in which I've learned how to do my own cut crease voila <laughs> so moving on i'm going back and taking some um black cream shadow base and i'm just applying up my fingertips a little bit of this is going to help make the gray eyeshadows pop that much better and i'm going back into the palette picking up the light gray color and with a um shader brush i'm going ahead and pat on that gray eyeshadow being careful not to bring it above the line that i created to cut the crease because i need this to be nice and neat so I'm going to take the eyeshadow and pat, pat it on with that um, shader brush. And I'm also using the white eyeshadow, which is supposed to be for your brow bone. But I'm going to use this in my tear ducts just to brighten my eyes up, you know, to bring some light into this dark gray-ish kind of smoky eye. So I already say my camera died. So off camera, I did do my false eyelashes and wing liner and smoked out my outer V. And I'm going to move into now applying my foundation which is by Lancome but I'm going to avoid underneath the areas of my eyes and save that for last and that's because I want to create a natural highlight underneath my eyes so whatever residue is left on my blending brush I'm going to gently pat it under my eyes where I had originally placed that concealer and that'll give me a nice smooth even tight highlight underneath the areas of my eyes. So next up, I'll be using some liquid illuminating highlighting drops, which is by LA Colors Cosmetics. If you're an official brand doll, you know my addiction to this brand. I'm only using a little bit of the liquid highlighter because it's definitely going to go a long way. And I am going to be on the red carpet, so I want to give off that nice, beautiful highlighting glow. And speaking of glow, my favorite blush is Milani Cosmetics Rose de Rio. But enough of me rambling about the makeup portion because, girl... I need to get myself out this chair and start getting ready. 
Hey y'all, so this is the final look and I am very much in a rush because I'm on my way to Miss I Am Kara J's movie premiere, final breaking point. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for her. She's been working really, really hard on this film and I decided to take y'all right along with me. But before we head on out, everything that I'm wearing will be down in the description box below. And also keep watching this video because you're going to see um, clips from the movie premiere and enough of me talking I gotta get out of here so let's go I ain't going fabulous movie fabulous movie you dogs really should have been here I'm going to put the information down in the description box below so you will get a chance to see the breaking point um, a movie by Miss Kara J. We have to not, we're supposed to be going across the streets for the after party. There you are. Oh, look. The fabulous Miss Christina. Oh, isn't she gorgeous? This is going on YouTube. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God. Look at her. Look at her right there. Ah. Oh, look at. Look at Miss, 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 I am Mesa. Yes. Makeup by Miss Glamour Addict, style by Revis Real. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Serving major body goals, okay? Coming soon, coming soon. Going to the after party. Let's go. New York City nightlife. Yeah. Going over here. Oh, the hotel is across the street. Look at that. We walking in the wrong direction. <laughs> Dolls, I'm telling y'all, designs by Shanice. I don't know why y'all keep playing with that eyewear. I'm yeah. Kid you not. Got some exclusives like coming. And we got some new designs coming out. Wow. So annoying. Visit that website. The information is down in the description box below. So right now we're heading over to the after party. Y'all know what it's about. They can catch me at the ball. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, I was doing an after-ball show and then an official lamb dog. Look at that right here. <laughs> I love y'all. I love you. Oh my God. Let me we tell you. We got to travel, girl. Yeah. We're going to travel. So, dog, this is about to um, 
conclude the video because after the show, it's the after party, and after the party, the hotel lobby, and after the hotel lobby. <laughs> Look at how old it is. Now it's time for us to go home. Yeah. So, no, but for real. This just um, no, we can't record the video. I gotta give them at least the outfit of the night. So wait, let me um do that. Hold on, let me get up. The wig that I'm wearing is by Sky, and I purchased it from my local beauty supply store. It will be down in the description box below. The dress I'm wearing is actually a mesh jacket, and I purchased it from Garden State Mall out of a store called Steps. And because it's in a mesh, very sheer material, I decided to wear some. Um, short leggings underneath it and the shoes oh my gosh these are the ink shoes which is international concepts which is sold exclusively in Macy's for real this just um, completed the video thank you for taking the time to watch this video and don't forget you still gotta stay socially connected I'm on Facebook Instagram and Twitter and I will see you all in another video again shortly later dogs